Athens wildfire rages as it reignites in the area of the northern suburbs that started two days ago. Thousands of people evacuated and hundreds of horses have been evacuated as well in an area that was full of beautiful pine forests, riding clubs, beautiful uh, houses, summer houses, permanent homes, villas, reception centers, and it's still uh, not under control. This is during a, a time of very bad heat wave in Athens, Greece, and uh, after the pine forests have been harmed by the March blizzard that we had, breaking branches in about a third of the trees from what I uh, observed myself. Now I took a video of what uh, just happened uh, the situation about a few minutes ago. In about an hour the wind will die down, it'll be night time, the uh, firefighting uh, planes will not be running, not be flying, because they don't fly at night, and they'll resume in the morning when uh, the uh, breeze will start picking up again. Kindly support my Patreon account since YouTube has again demonetized my YouTube channel. The daily posts are five videos daily, and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below. Okay, this is uh, it's about uh, 7.30 in the evening now in Athens, Greece. This is the sun, but those are not clouds, clouds those are haze, because the fires have again restarted in the area where two days ago they were uh, we had billowing uh, wildfire ash clouds well in the morning we had a white cloud now it's as you can see started again in the area where we had the wildfires two days ago north of Athens about 20 miles north in an area which is one of the last beautiful forests of the whole of the Attica area. Now this mountain is Mount Parne, Mount Par Parnitha. That was once lush and green, full of uh, pine forests, and it's basically gone. They're starting to regrow with little bushes. And uh, also then we have this one here, that mountain there is Mount Pendeli, where the white marble of the Acropolis of Athens was quarried. They still have those quarries after thousands of years, they're still there. White marble being cut there, well that was full of beautiful forests and that's also now barren, trying to restart. And as you can understand, that takes many generations. So this is it. Um, two days ago, uh, it was in an area, and it's still in the area, uh, where it was beautiful, lush and green forests, pine forests. They had many riding clubs there. And uh, from what I understand, 285 horses were evacuated to another area of uh, horse, ra uh, horse ranches and uh, riding clubs. And this, uh, they, although they lost a lot of animals, but they, were, they kept on having horse transport trucks bringing out the horses. Um, uh, many people lost their houses around the area of uh, Vadi Bobby Square. Uh, one of uh, the priests, the priest of our church, told me that he had gone to a house to do a, a blessing of the house, and they were um, they were housing some of the relatives who have lost their homes. Many homes were burnt there. Thousands of people evacuated, and this is about I would say this is about what you know. With, it's hard to say because the smoke is d directed by the wind in one direction, but the fire could be going, coming closer to us. You know, it depends on, because the wind now is blowing from west to east. So the fire could be closer to us where the wind is blowing the, um, the uh, smoke clouds away from, uh, from, the fi from the fire and from us. Uh, so if we get at, if it gets at any point closer to us, we will get a message on our cell phones. The, um, a location knows where we are, where we live, and where we are, and it will tell us to move and vacate. Uh, I hope that doesn't come to pass, but this is strange because of the fact that they've been... Uh, yesterday it was 
most of the fire was extinguished, but it's up and running again. And uh, one of the people that is in the area, you know, I'm sitting here for days now with my windows closed because it's so hot outside. Um, this is a very hot spell for uh, the Mediterranean and um, it's above uh, 100 degrees Fahrenheit and uh, usually it's a time of the month, the time of the year in August where we have strong winds. Thank goodness we don't have winds that are that strong but this is, you can see the trees are not moving because this is the time of day when the, when the wind sort of uh, dies down around 8.30. You see the, the okay, it's, it's breezy, the trees are, okay. Uh, swaying in the wind but around in an hour or so there won't be a leaf um, there will not be even one leaf moving because that's what happens uh, strange but when the Sun goes down the wind also dies down the not even a breeze so um, a lot of people that had left their windows open everything in their house smells like smoke um, that that ter terrible tangy smell of uh, wildfires and uh, it's on, on their curtains, in their furniture, in their clothes even uh, so they have to wash everything uh, but this is to me very unsettling because of the fact that um, as you can see it's just getting stronger it's just getting stronger I didn't put up more videos to, uh, since the early morning because I didn't want to waste your time but uh, this is not good and as we know, uh, when uh, we have, we're going to have a, a night time in about an hour, an hour and a half, that's when the firefighting planes stop flying. Um, they are there. I, he I have heard them flying across, but they're busy. They've also blocked off par uh, areas of the National Road heading north, so people have to use either other uh, by roads to get around these fires, which is very difficult. Um, so we'll see what happens. This is it. The fire stretching, uh, it's not as bad as it was two days ago when the um, the uh, ash clouds were all over the Attica area. Now they're over the northern suburbs. But hopefully they'll get this extinguished. I don't know what. These things here, okay, they're putting a... Um, you know, this is just uh, public works over here. They're, they're creating some kind of a uh, uh, water... Uh, sewage system or something. I don't know what they're doing here. They look like sewage uh, pipes. Anyway, and they've dug a tunnel and they're putting cables underneath. I don't know. Anyway, but um, that's bad. Uh, we've also had, we also have very, we have, I think we have another eight wildfires uh, throughout Greece. One of them is in Evia, which is very bad. It's near a monastery of St. David of Evia. Osiu David, um, uh, 9th, 8th, 9th century, very, very uh, miraculous saint. We've been for pilgrimages to his, to that um, monastery many times, but um, they were told to evacuate, but there are some monks that refuse to evacuate. They want to fight to save their monastery, which was very old, as you can understand, it's about 1,400 years old. And... Um, a very special place. You feel the, the blessing and the peace when you go there to pray. So a lot of people from that area have been evacuated. They've been told there's only one road, basically, one main road to get away from that area. That road has been closed off because of the fires all around. And the people have been told to make their way to the sea and swim in the sea. And then the boats would come and take them from the sea and locate them, relocate them somewhere else. I, I, I don't know where, but uh, that is really frightening. To save your life, you would have to go into the sea, make your way to the sea. Um, if you're above the main road, I don't know how you would do that. When you have all these wildfires around you, make yourself way to the sea and uh, you will be picked up, you would be picked up by a boat to take you to safety. Um, so that's the situation. And as we know, the same thing is happening in Turkey. Uh, we have basically the same climate. One of the fires, though, is near a uh, nuclear thermal plant, which has been, uh, uh, I think, it's, it's started up and running this year, uh, basically just above Cyprus in the eastern Mediterranean. And um, 
their fire, their, I don't know if that's extinguished or not, but that's bad news. Can you imagine a fire around a nuclear power plant? When uh, people have to be evacuated and there's nobody there, and what's, who's going to be taking care of the plant? I mean, this is outrageously surreal. This is outrageously surreal. And um, I don't know, you know, I, I, at some point we're coming, we've had some days here where we're almost as, cold, uh, as hot as Dubai. And that's not good because, you know, we're turning into, Greece will be turning into an Egypt soon enough. And uh, Germany will be turning into Greece. <laughs> I mean, that, I shouldn't laugh, but um, that's not at all feasible for humanity. As we know, most of the population of the Earth lives in the Northern Hemisphere. And uh, we've got to do something about protecting our planet. I uh, Look, uh, poor Nikola Tesla must be turning in his grave. I mean, he had so many ideas of free energy, clean energy, and unfortunately, the uh, greedy Mo Morgans and uh, whatever, whoever else, um, is not allowing such technology to make it out for us to be using and uh, saving our planet. I don't know what, anyway, I'll leave um, this for you to contemplate on. Uh, I'm praying, of course, that this be put out as fast as possible. They almost put it out, but I don't know. I, you know, a lot of these are arson. I would say 99.9999999% is arson. Uh, there are these wicked people that do this, unfortunately. They get a kick out of this. Um, that's bad. But we also had, uh, the last snowstorm we had, back in March was so bad that uh, and it lasted so many days that a lot of the uh, heavy snow broke the branches of these pine trees and about you know when I was taking uh, well, just driving around that area uh, I noticed that a lot of these uh, pine forests had broken branches even in neighborhoods you know pine, pine beautiful pine trees broken branches to the point where a third of them were filled with broken branches and how would you go and get them off uh, you know clean up the forest it's just not feasible and uh, obviously these are turning into tinder boxes uh, ready to flare up and we know that pine trees have a lot of resin in them and uh, a lot of uh, they make good starter firewood uh, firewood for starter starting a fire and uh, oh there's a plane can you see it I don't know can you see it? There it is. Okay, that's one of the firefighting planes. Uh, Cyprus and Sweden also want to send some to help firefight. Okay, that's one of the Canadair planes. It's red. The color is red and uh, yellow. So it's flying towards the, it's flying towards the uh, obviously. Oh, that's my solar solar water heater. Okay. Oh, there's another helicopter. Do we get it? Okay, that's it. that's flying back to get water. Okay, these are all fire fire uh, fighting um, craft, and uh, they're fighting all day. And they stop around. They'll stop in about an hour, I think, when the sun goes down. Uh, and also the wind stopped, so that's good. I mean, basically the fires don't ravage that much at night because the wind the wind dies down uh, I remember once I had gone to a fire in the northern suburbs at night I made my way even though the way <laughs> I'm just terrible even though the roads were closed I knew how to get my car as close to the fire as possible and I was standing right on top of the embers um, because they were just little little sizzles of charcoal when the night uh, breeze stops and um, and then it, the breeze starts up again uh, with the light of day at the si same time that the aircraft start their work again. So this is the situation here. Some of my um, viewers, thank you for your prayers and your thoughts. Please keep safe as well. And, you know, we're all one in the body of Christ. Wherever we live, north, south, east or west, we all love and care for each other. We're all one body and one family. God bless you, make living saints out of you, 
Thank you for your support. Please leave your comments. Thank you.